news. The St. Louis County Police Department is investigating an officer-involved shooting after an officer shot a robbery suspect in Jennings Saturday morning. Now, I spoke with investigators to find out what led up to the shooting. The shooting all unfolded Saturday morning around 9.30. Investigators say two armed men entered the O'Reilly's auto parts store and demanded money. Police say the suspect then pistol whipped an employee during the robbery, then fled the scene in a vehicle that was reported stolen with an undisclosed amount of money, and then crashed into a limo taking part in a funeral procession. Reportedly, the suspects got out of the car and took off running with police trying to catch them. Police say one suspect then turned around and pointed a gun at a cop. The officer then shot the suspect in the leg. He was taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. The second suspect was then arrested. The two suspects entered the business, both of them brandishing weapons. One of the employees was assaulted by a suspect. He struck that employee in the head with his pistol. That employee is, uh, received a non-life-threatening injury, has been conveyed to a local hospital. After that business robbery, they enter that white Nissan behind us. They flee the parking lot. They come up Jennings Station Road, and again, they fail to navigate that turn onto Halls Ferry, strike, uh, going over that concrete median, striking a lead car in that funeral procession. That further investigation would reveal that that Nissan was reported stolen in the middle of October. No officers were injured, and police say officers recovered a two handguns and a long gun from the suspects. A troubling news on the COVID front on Saturday, Missouri reported the highest single day COVID case total in nearly three weeks. The state adding 5,001 new cases to its total, reversing the declining trend Missouri experienced in late November. Health officials also reported 59 new deaths and a new statewide low for the percentage of available hospital beds. Officials had warned that the reduction in testing around Thanksgiving could lead to the perception of better COVID numbers. They also warned of a potential spike due to increased travel for the holidays. And now to the latest numbers from the St. Louis Metropolitan Pandemic Task Force. New hospital admissions increased from 115 on Friday to 132 on Saturday. The seven-day moving average hospital admissions increased from 113 to 119, and the seven-day moving average of hospitalizations decreased from 925 to 920. Well, the first wave of COVID-19 vaccinations are expected to roll out over the next few weeks. One of the biggest hurdles to overcome in the delivery process is keeping those vaccines ultra cool. A Pfizer, for example, requires their vaccine to be kept at a negative 94 degrees. And that's why makers of dry ice are getting ready for a surge in demand, including St. Louis company CK Supply, the only manufacturer in dry ice in Missouri. With us and the help of other small companies around us, you know, being centralized in Missouri, it's it's very beneficial for us and and supplying those people. We are confident that we're going to be able to keep up with the demand. Like I said, uh, we we've already kind of geared up for the additional uh, demand for dry ice with the food companies, shipping, and now definitely the medical centers and facilities. The leading COVID-19 vaccines like those made by Pfizer and Moderna are still awaiting approval for emergency use by the FDA. The cure to COVID-19 cabin fever may have been found in Columbia, Illinois. It involves a holiday classic film, lots of space and tons of fun. Fox News' Rocky Madden has a story.